A reading of Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 through 8, out of the New American Standard Bible, 1995. Verse 1. Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak kindly to Jerusalem and call out to her that her warfare has ended, that her iniquity has been removed, that she has received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice is calling, clear the way for the Lord in the wilderness, make smooth in the desert a highway for our God. Let every valley be lifted up and every mountain and hill be made low and let the rough ground become a plain and the rugged terrain a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all flesh will see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, call out. Then he answered, what shall I call out? All flesh is grass, and all its loveliness is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flowers fade, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. What comes to mind when I mention the term, the F-bomb. <laughs> now, hold on, don't go there. <laughs> don't get it twisted. But quite often, the F-bomb has been used to explain a certain type of derogatory word or vulgar word. But I am here to tell you Contrary to popular belief, there are F-bombs of comfort. There are F-bombs of comfort. In the 40th chapter of Isaiah, we read the prophet writes specifically about God's comfort for Jerusalem and the exiles. This chapter begins with a message of encouragement for a people that were truly hurt by their past. If we scoop out the message in this scripture, we see that God through the prophet Isaiah was advising the people of Jerusalem that their city had suffered more than enough and its punishment was over. He is now focusing through this word, the promise of the king's glorious return. In addition to that, he mentions specifically that the city will be restored. And he says this as God, the one who is Yahweh, the God that exists. Not only if he says it, you can believe it, but when he says it, it shall be done. As a result of his decree, the city, Jerusalem was going to proclaim the good news of God's return to the other cities of Judah. So analyzing this scripture, we see that God is promising that the curse is now lifted by his word. His people are saved. They are redeemed and they will 
truly announce the good news to others. Well, what's in the word of others? If you look up the origin of what we deem the F word is, we see that it was something very different that was ultimately accepted as an adjective. Wait, don't turn me off now. Just listen. On the 29th of May, 2013, Melissa Moore, a contributor to the Huffington Post, wrote a boop short history of the F word. Melissa Moore wrote, quote, once upon a time, the English population was decimated by the plague. The king was so concerned about the shrinking number of his subjects that he ordered his people to reproduce. His proclamation, fornicate under command of the king. Letters, Foxtrot, Uniform, Charlie, Kilo for short, was the source of our favorite swear word. Hence now, the F-bomb. <laughs> we find out later on that that particular story isn't necessarily true. It's fake news. <laughs> but what we do know is that God's word is true. His news, his good news can be relied on. It is true. So where can we find in the Bible F-bombs of comfort? We're going to quickly discuss four out of many. F-bomb of comfort number one, faithfulness which is his steadfast, unwavering love and affection or allegiance to us. Galatians chapter six, verse 10 reads, so then while we have opportunity, let us do good to all people and especially to those who are of the household of faith. Here's a life application for that. When something happens that is out of your control and it's impacting you, instead of screaming, oh, worldly F-bomb, scream, oh, God, you're faithful. Have the comfort to know that your situation is taken care of by the King of Kings, whose comfort is in faithfulness. F-bomb of comfort number two, forgiveness, which is the act of forgiving. We know that God has forgiven us, but we should practice the F-bomb of comfort for our brother. Matthew chapter 18, verse 15 says, if your brother sins, go and show him his fault in private. If he listens to you, you have won your brother. Yeah, I can go on with the other part of that scripture, but the F-bomb of this is forgiveness. Instead of yelling at your brother when he offends you, Oh, worldly F-bomb. Yell to him the F-bomb of comfort. Oh, forgiveness. Leave it with him. Believe it with God and move on. For the third F-bomb of comfort, we look at our relationship with the brethren. The F-bomb of comfort as it relates to fellowship, companionship, and company. Sometimes 
you see certain communities getting together and certain streams happening and certain gangs getting together and certain cliques getting together. And the first thing you want to say is, ah, worldly F-bomb. <laughs> but think of the F-bomb of comfort as it relates to fellowship. You, as a child of the Most High God, are in the fellowship of the brethren. We read in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 42, they were continually devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Know that the comfort, your F-bomb, as it relates to who you deal with is through God, fellowship. Praise God. You are not alone. Finally, in this sermon, the F-bomb of comfort forever. Here's the life application. Something is happening that you think may be taking your life. At that time, instead of screaming, oh, worldly F-bomb, scream the F-bomb of comfort, oh, forever knowing that thus saith the Lord. First Thessalonians chapter four, verse 16 through 18. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. God bless you. The F-bombs of comfort, faith, faithfulness, forgive, forgiveness, fellowship and being with God forever. He that has an ear, let him hear. God bless.